Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera diucapkan kepada semua. So for today we will learn about uh, chapter 5 reasoning in uncertain situation. So uh, for today's topic I choose uh, to continue with our lesson on fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic is used where where the idea of logic involve a partial set of membership. So, uh, there are creep set and then there is also a fuzzy set. So, fuzzy logic is an idea introduced by Lord Fisade during the 1960s, which uh, to provide a reasoning mechanism that could use uh, fuzzy variables. So, in fuzzy logic, linguistic variables are usually used to describe the variable and always assigned with a linguistic value. So, uh, let's look into the terms and definition within fuzzy logic. So, we have fuzzy logic. That is a, a branch of logic that uses degree of membership in sets rather than strict value in true or false, uh, 1 or 0. And then, we also have linguistic variable. So, linguistic variable is a term which we use uh, natural language to describe concepts that are usually have vague fuzzy value. Right. Okay, we have uh, several uh, variable, uh, linguistic variable, linguistic value, and hedges. So, hedges is used in order to uh, put a stress on the linguistic variable and values. Okay, while in linguistic variable, it is a kind of variable that usually measure. So, there are many form of variable that you can measure. Okay, this is some of the example. So, given uh, in the book, linguistic variable are speed, load, and burn. But uh, if you expand the definition, linguistic variable is the things that you can measure. Right? Uh, okay, this is uh, the term of linguistic variable. Okay. Uh, okay, variable uh, which you can measure okay so uh, what exactly things or variable that you can measure okay we have temperature right temperature and then you have weight Then you have height okay you can measure height you can measure weight and then uh, likewise you can measure speed you can measure load right you can measure load okay what else that you can measure Right, okay. Okay, let's think about it. Okay, brightness. Okay. You can measure brightness. Right, next we have linguistic values. Linguistic values are the value that describes the variable. Okay, value which describes the variable. Okay, for speed. Okay, what can you describe speed? Okay, you can go uh, say that the speed are slow. And then, speed are medium or high. Okay, sometimes you uh, call it as fast. And then, load. Okay, load. Low, medium, high. Okay, high load. And then, temperature. Okay, you can describe it as cold, right, medium, high, temperature. Okay, that is temperature. So, what else that you can describe, right, height, height, okay, short, average, okay, average height, and then tall, okay, that is height. And then, uh, brightness. Okay, dim. Alright? Dim. 
a medium and vivid. So next we look into hedges. Okay, hedges. So hedges is a way to put an emphasis on the linguistic value. So in hedges, uh, we have uh, slightly, okay, somewhat, and then you have very, extremely, and indeed. Okay, we will cover more about hedges in the very next section. Okay, but I'm going to show you a combination of uh, of uh, linguistic, okay, linguistic uh, variables linguistic value and hedges in fuzzy logic so uh, we have uh, speed so okay speed so speed can be slow okay average can be fast right sometimes you can uh, write it like this speed is very slow the speed is very fast. The height is extremely tall. And then the temperature is very hot. Right? Can be very hot. Five and uh, the load is somewhat okay uh, high uh, sorry you can also write this like this the temperature is slightly cool so this is how you uh, manipulate uh, the linguistic uh, variable next uh, we will look into Okay, the differences between fuzzy set and script set. So, you may have already familiar with script set. So, in script set, is either you are in the set or you are not. So, the basic example of uh, script set is when you do your basic programming languages using if, then, else, or decision tree. Or uh, we call it as um, rule, okay, rule. So in creep set, so creep set is either zero or one, okay, or true or false, okay. There are no uh, in between, okay. There are no in between. Okay, there are no value in between. It is either you are tall or not tall. Either tall is true or tall is false. Okay, either true or false. So, the example of quick set uh, you may have already implemented in your daily life is uh, by using a decision tree or by using um, a rule. Okay, uh, example like this. If height more or equal 165, then, okay, print tall. Okay, print tall. Okay, means that uh, if anybody that are lower than uh, 165 centimeter, then he is not considered as tall. Okay, ini dikatakan tall lah. Okay, ini dikatakan tall. Okay, there are no Nothing in between. Right? There are nothing in between. Okay, next, uh, you have a fuzzy set of tall men. Okay, next, you have a fuzzy set of tall men. So, in fuzzy set of tall men, uh, the membership are gradually uh, approaching one. Okay, everything in, in between 155 to 170 is within the tall set, uh, but with varying degree of membership. Okay, with varying degree of membership. 
There is no either one, zero or one, but it is a degree of membership between the denoted by num the number between zero and one. Okay, let's see that. In 160, uh, if somebody is, uh, is 160 centimeter of height, then the degree of membership is 0 0.2. 165 is about 0 0.5. Okay, 170 is about uh, 0 0.7 or 0 0.6. And then 175 is 1. Okay, means that uh, full membership. So this is the differences between uh, Crip set and fuzzy set. So in fuzzy set, it's approached more or less like a human way of thinking. So sometimes you, when you describe uh, some people of their height, you can say that uh, he is slightly tall. Okay, it is somewhat tall, or she is somewhat short. So you do not give an exact value of the height, uh, like uh, like. Um, likely like you have already measured it so when a computer trying to mimic a human behavior so it try to use a human approximation so that's why it came out with hedges and linguistic value to describe uh, the variable to another human being so we have a slightly tall, somewhat tall, extremely tall, extremely short. Okay. Uh, so this would describe things in fuzzy uh, means. So um, some of you may have already uh, encountered uh, this um, uh, fuzzy description within your daily life when you are using the computer, uh, any type system on the internet. Okay, next we look into the membership of uh, Fuzzy Set. Okay, mostly in the examination question or test question, they will give you a group of Fuzzy Set. So, you have short, okay, and then given membership 1, 130, one, this, this one uh, denote the degree of membership. Okay, it's not a fraction. Dia bukan pecahan. Okay, this is not a fraction. But rather, it describes the degree of membership and the value. So, 1, 1, 3, 0 means that full membership uh, of short. 1 slash 1, 4, 0 means full membership of short also. Okay, 0 0.5 means uh, half of the membership of short. Okay, 0 means no membership of short. So when you draw the graph, you can draw something like this. Okay, one three zero one, one four zero one, one five zero zero point five. Okay, halfway in the middle. Okay, one six zero zeros, and then you plot the graph, and then you have also have medium, right? Medium. You have zero. Okay, over here, zero point five halfway, and then one. Okay, also halfway as uh, full. Okay, full membership, and then. 0 0.5 halfway and then 0 180 means uh okay this is uh this have no membership uh, within medium then you have tall 0 0 0.5 170 1 okay 180 1 190 okay in fuzzy set you also have fuzzy set operation so, you do have three fuzzy set operation, intersection, union, and complement. So, in intersection, you look the area which overlap, okay, and only the area that are overlap. Intersection is also known as N, okay, it uses the symbol N, medium and tall. So, in the intersection, when you draw the graph, you can color, okay, you can color or you can highlight the area that intersect. Okay, yang bertindihan or intersect or overlap. So, when you read the graph, you can pinpoint which area that uh, overlap. So, pinpointing is easy. Okay, there are two ways to go about this. Okay, either you trace it from the graph or you use mean. Okay, you use mean. 
Okay, I will show you both technique. Okay, because you need to survive in the final examination or test, you can use both technique. Okay, first I use the, the graph technique. So, in the graph technique, you read the value directly from the graph. Okay, this is 0, 1, 6, 0. Okay, medium and tall. Okay, here is 0 0.5, 170. And then this is 0, 180. Right, Set, uh, that settled them. Okay, this is the answer of uh, medium and tall. Okay, next uh, you have union. Union is also known as O. Medium or tall, we call it union. Yes, okay, you have union. So, how do you answer about union? So, union means you combine both set. Okay, between medium and tall. So, medium, you write it medium or tall. So, medium, union, tall. So, how do you write it? Uh, you can also read from the graph. Or you use max. Okay, I will teach you how to use max and mean value. Okay, mean value afterwards. Right. 0, 1, 4, 0. Okay, you read over here. And then you read here. Okay, this is because it is uh, on the border. 0 0.5, 150. 0. 1, uh, 1, 6, 0. 0 0.5, 170. Okay, over here on the border. Comma, 1, 1, 8, 0. Okay, when you read it, 1, 1, 8, 0. 1, 1, 9, 0. Right. Medium or tall. Okay, next we look into complementary. Okay, complementation. So, uh, for complementation, it is about not. Okay, when you write it, not medium. Okay, so not medium. So, how do you write not medium? You look at the graph. Or, or you use the formula 1 minus the set. Okay, 1 minus set. Okay, 1 minus medium. Or you write it as 1 minus medium. So, not medium, you can read it from the graph. Okay, 1. 1, 3, 0. 1, 1, 4, 0. Right, and then zero point five one five zero, then zero one six zero. Okay, sebab tak ada kat sini. So ini zero point five one seven zero. Okay, then one one eight zero one one nine zero. So, when you combine it with the answer given in the book, you realize that uh, the book does not have 1130. So, if you read it back, okay, suppose 1 slash 130 exists. Okay, sepatutnya dia wujudlah dekat sini sebab 130 ni adalah not medium. Also, it's not medium. So, sebenarnya di sini dia salah dalam buku salah. Patutnya kena ada 1130, 1140. Alright. Okay, this one, I show you how to create a, a graph or to generate graph between intersection, okay, and or union, okay, we call it or. Okay, but uh, if you notice, there is also min and max over here. Apa ni masukkan min dengan max? Okay, min dengan max kat sini. Okay, means that uh, antara dua nilai A, set A dan B, okay, kita pilih nilai yang rendah kalau A, uh, set A, or and B. Okay. Okay, macam mana cara dia tu? Okay, kita akan cuba buat lah. Uh, now, tanpa rujuk graf. Okay, tanpa kita rujuk graf, kita boleh buat juga. So, tanpa kita rujuk graf, apakah jawapan, okay, tanpa rujuk graf dan juga uh, tanpa kita tengok jawapan. Okay. Okay, what is the answer between medium and tall? Okay. So, given the formula. 
Okay. Even the formula medium and tall uh, would be mean. Okay, mean, uh, medium and tall. Okay, yang mana yang lebih rendah dia akan pilih. Uh, so, jawapan dia akan jadi macam ni lah. You have to compare uh, between the two set. Okay. Okay, 0, 1, 4, 0. Wujud ataupun tak? Okay, 0, 1, 4, 0. Okay, wujud. So, mana yang lebih rendah? 0, 1, 4, 0 or tall? Tall tak wujud. Okay, does not exist. So, you have uh, just try it. 0, 1, 4, 0. Right. 0, 0.5, 1, 5, 0. Okay, this one exists in medium but does not exist in tall. So, automatically this will become 0. So, the answer would be 0, 1, 5, 0. So, next we have 1, 1, 6, 0 and 0, 1, 6, 0. So, 1 and 0 which are the most minimum? Okay, the minimum value. Of course, this is the minimum value. So, you write it 0, 1, 6, 0. Comma. 0 0.5, 170 and 0 0.5, 170 which are of these are minimum value. Okay, because both are equal, you just write it 0 0.5, 170, comma, 0 and 1, uh, 180. Okay, which are the minimum one? So, minimum would be 0, 180, and then comma, 1, 190, and in medium does not exist. So, automatically it become 0, 190. Alright, this is supposed to be the answer. So, you compare with the answer. So, it is the same. Okay, sama juga. Okay, kosong-kosong, tak ada makna. Okay, does not have uh, uh, value. Okay, here, 0, 0160, 0 0.5, 170, 0, 180, and then 0, 190. Still, they can highlight di sini lah. So, if you do not want to draw the graph, you can also use the this method. Kalau graph tak diberikan. So, if the final exam question does not provide you with the graph, you can use this method, mean. Okay, you find the mean value between mean, medium and tall. Okay, same goes for the union. For the union, you find the max value. Okay, I will show you next uh, in the uh, practice make perfect uh, segment. Okay, next I will cover hedges. So, hedges is used to put an emphasis on the value. Okay. This is the sample uh, hedges. We have a little, slightly, very, extremely, very, very, somewhat and indeed. But uh, to the best of my experience, indeed, is never asked in the final examination. Okay, in the final examination, they would only or usually ask about a little, slightly, very, extremely, and very, very. Okay, sometimes, somewhat. So, uh, how to solve it? So, you look over here, okay, the value. So, this is mean the, to the power of, okay, to the power of. So, let's say that uh, the question asks you to find uh, the set for very short. Okay. So, uh, what is the answer? So, this is simple. So, you have short. Okay. You have short uh, set. Okay, here are the short set. Short set is 1, 1, 3, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0, 0 0.5, 1, 5, 0, 0, 1, 6, 0. So, answer would be very short is you need to square. Okay, you need to square the value. Okay, the front value. You need to square the front value. So, if you look here, okay. This is to the power of 2 or alternatively, you know, it is known as square. Okay, squaring. Square. So, mudah saja, you have to square the front value. Okay, 1 square 2. Result in 1. Okay, 1 kuasa 2 sama dengan 1. 1 kuasa 2 lagi sama dengan 1. 
Okay, 0.5 Kuasa 2, 150 Alright So, for 0.5 You have to use calculator Okay, 0.5 Okay, here we have square Alright, square 0.25 So, the answer would be 0 0.25 150 Comma 0 160 So, this is the answer Okay, very easy So, very short would be 1 Slash 130 1 Slash 140 0 0.25 Slash 150 Comma 0 160 Alright, this is easy so, uh, somewhat short. So, in somewhat, you need to square root. Okay, square root the value. So, if you look over here, somewhat means that you have to square root the value, the front value. Right. So, 1 square root would be 1. Okay, 1 square root would be 1 also. Okay, what is the square root of 0 0.5? Right, you have to use the calculator. 0 0.5, use square root. Right, 0 0.7071. So, you write over here. Okay, 0 slash 160. Right, this is the answer for somewhat short. Alright, let's look into... Another example, uh, slightly, okay, slightly tall. Oh, he is slightly tall. So, what is slightly tall? So, what is slightly tall? So, we look over here, the value for slightly tall. So, in slightly, you need to uh, power it with 1.7. Okay, power it with 1.7. So, you write over here, slightly tall. Right? So, 0, 160. Right? This one, you have to power with 1.7. So, you have to switch on the scientific calculator. So, 0 0.5 power of y, 1.7. So, equal here. 0 0.3078. Okay, 0 0.3078, comma, 170, uh, sorry, slash 170, comma, 1, 180, 1190. So, this is how to answer the question about uh, slightly tall. Okay, next we look into practice make perfect. Okay, on how to answer certain question. On fuzzy logic. Okay, let's look into this question. So, in this question, it does not allow you to draw graph or, or it does not give you the graph. So, how to answer the question? So, find A, union B and A intersect B. So, right? Uh, okay, now we try to answer the question together. Right. So first, uh, A1. Okay, A1. Find A, union B. Right. You already have set A and B. So remember that union means max, equals to max. So if you refer back to the node, okay, if you rewind back to the node, okay, union means max. You select whatever the maximum value. So, if you return back to the page. And then you keep it in mind. It will be very easy to answer this question if you know about uh, this. A union B means you seek out the max value. So, A union B. So, the set is between. 3 and 2. 0 0.3 and 0 0.2. So, you select 0 0.3. Uh, okay, comma. Alright. So, because uh, 2 does not exist in A, so you have to select 0 0.8 uh, slash 2. Okay, because this is the highest value. 
and then we have 3 okay 0 0.5 uh, slash 3 and then 1 slash 4 okay this is the highest value comma because 6 does not exist in uh, B so we select uh, the highest okay 6 is, is the highest okay 0 0.6 uh, comma uh, sorry 0 0.6 for, uh, slash 5 0 0.7 slash 6 and then 0 0.3 slash 7 so this is the answer of A union B right A union B you select the highest value this is highest okay this is also highest okay this is the highest okay this is highest okay this one is highest 0 0.7 highest and then 0 0.3 is highest Okay, next we will uh, find uh, A and B. So how do you find A and B? So in A and B, you find the minimum value between A and B. This one, A or B. A comma B, you find it uh, with the maximum value. So A and B or A intersect B. And you find it uh, between uh, A intersect B is the minimum value. Right. So, to proceed uh, answering this question, okay, you have A intersect B. Okay, compare this number. So, the lower one would be 0 0.2 slash 1. Okay, compare both of this number also. Okay, the lower value would be 0 0.2, right? 0 0.02, comma, A, 3, means that 0 0.0, comma, 3. Okay, 4, between 4, okay, you have 0 0.9, comma, 4, uh, slash 4, 5, okay, minimum value would be uh, 0 0.05, okay, 0 0.06, okay, 0 0.06, and then 0 0.27, 0 0.2, uh, slash 7. Okay, this is for the minimum value uh, in between A and B. Okay, A and B. So, find the set that intersect in between A and B. So, this is the answer. Alright. So, given that all you have already learned, hopefully you are able to answer the final examination question or final assessment. So, fuzzy logic questions are extremely easy, relatively easy. You can score full marks if you are very careful on answering the question. So, this is very easy and I suppose you could answer uh, the fuzzy logic question with relative ease. So, that's all for today. So, we'll be seeing you afterwards. So, for the... Next, uh, notes on uh, expert system, I'll be uploading it on the e-learning system or in Google Classroom. So, that's all. Uh, goodbye.